Hi there. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for the help and support and advice received. Um, it's been really, really excellent um, and it's helping me on my journey into engineering. Um, one of the comments I received was from Alan O'Rourke. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce his surname. And um, it was when I was making the carriage lock and Alan commented that uh, the workspace was a right old mess, really. Uh, which he was right and uh, he suggested that uh, you know I needed some sort of better sort of clamps so this video is showing you me making uh, one of four clamps for my uh, precision vise that I uh, got from Archioro Trade now when I bought the vise um, I did look for some clamps that were suitable for holding it uh, but they didn't seem to stock them um, so, you know, what excuse have I got? I've got a mill, um, so let's make uh, some clamps. So we'll see you in a bit. So, to make the clamp, um, you don't need a lot really. Obviously you need a bit of a plan uh, or design. Um, that's a 4 flute end mill, uh, that's 12mm in diameter. I guess you could use any reasonable diameter end mill. Um, that's a 6mm drill bit, 4mm drill bit, a centre drill, a um, bolt and a T-nut that's suitable for your milling table to hold the clamp down, and a piece of mild steel bar. Um, so this is 15mm uh, deep and 30mm wide. And that is the clamp we're going to be making. So I'm just going to cut a piece off this uh, mild steel bar, um, slightly longer than 40 millimeters. <laughs> Okay, so the uh, vice is uh, 90 degrees uh, to the table and uh, I've put some parallels in here and uh, put the piece of mild steel in there with a bit of an overhang. So the idea here is to uh, trim up this face um, and make it 90 degrees with the sides. And I've got um, an R8 collet here which is a 12 millimeter uh, collet and uh, I can put the 12 millimeter uh, cutter in here so just find the slot push it in tighten the top up Okay, so I've uh, set the depth of cut, the uh, full depth of the piece of bar and I uh, zeroed off the x-axis uh, with the side of the cutter on the side of the bar and then I've uh, moved um, the table that way, 10 thou, and then locked the x-axis. Now with this cutter turning that way I need to bring the piece up towards the cutter in the opposite direction of the cutter so we'll uh, give it a try
another 10 thou. Tighten up again. Spot on. So I'll repeat it on the other side and get it down to uh, 40 millimeters in length. Well, I'm not sure if I was acting too much um, of the cutter, uh, cutting full sort of depth. Uh, but you see, it seemed to work okay. Uh, it just seemed like I was having to pull the uh, y axis quite a bit. Um, but anyway. Um, that's the result so far. Spot on. So now I need to drill a hole uh, exactly in the center. So the way I do this, uh, rightly or wrongly, is I've, I've marked the position uh, where I think the hole should be uh, drilled. Uh, I'm going to use this centre drill first of all but just to double check uh, that my measurements are correct what I've done is lined up the centre drill on the edge of the piece. I've uh, zeroed the uh, X axis and now I'm going to move the X axis 40 millimetres, no 20 millimetres across so that's 10 turns of the dial and it should end up in the middle so let's make sure we're at zeroed yep so we're on zero so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and that should be the centre. What I'll do is exactly the same on the Y axis. Okay, so now I'm going to mill the underside of the clamp and I'm going to take um, three millimetres off the depth and leave a little foot at this end, um, just like that. So I'm going to cut in uh, increments of uh, ten thou. Okay, so uh, I've, I've cut to a depth of uh, just under three millimeters, and I now need to 
leave this uh, three millimeter wide sort of foot. So the way I'm going to calculate that is I've um, brought the piece up to the side of the milling cutter here. Uh, the milling cutter is 12 millimeters wide. So what I'll do is raise the cutter. and then bring the piece um, 12 millimeters plus 3 millimeters which is 15 millimeters so that is seven and a half turns so I'll do that so one two three four five six seven and a half so in theory that should leave three millimeters at this side so um, I'll do a trial cut I'll, I'll move the camera and just do a trial cut and see where we uh, end up so I've locked the Y axis and I've brought the cutter down 10 mil um, and we'll give it a trial cut. Two point nine five. So I'm happy with that. So we'll continue. I must say this DRO is absolutely fantastic. So I'll go down another ten thou. Look, Z axis. So I'll just clean it up with a file. So that's turned out very well. Uh, the foot is uh, just under three millimeters wide. Um, all I need to do now is to cut this little section out here, uh, which is six millimeters by six millimeters, just like that. So I've uh, zeroed the cutter on the side of the piece. So um, now. I'll move the Y axis um, across by six millimeters so that this is um, six so, sorry three turns of the dial one two three and I'll lock the uh, Y axis now so now I'll uh, Zero wise the Z axis. And zero the DRO. Move the Z axis down by ten thou. And start the cut.
just double check the depth. Spot on, six millimeters. So I'll keep on cutting until I uh, get to six millimeters. And the final cut. Well that's the first time I've used the mill since uh, doing the modification uh, with the DRO and the gas strut. And I must say, it's just totally transformed the mill. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really pleased with it. And um, this little exercise was really good practice, and it's produced something um, which is of real use to me. So I'm really, really happy. Um, anyway, I hope you like the video, and uh, I hope you like the result.